Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Have you ever been in the position of trying to break into a new group of young people? I know some of you have had this problem when your dad had to move to another city because he was transferred or mom and dad decided they'd like to live in another place so the whole family moved. There are lots of reasons why young people have to find new friends and sometimes it's a difficult thing to do. Young folks can be very cruel. Oh, not on purpose, but just because they haven't learned to be diplomatic and considerate. Well, enough of my talking. Let's get into our story. The Outsider. Hey, Wes, that sparrow was right out in the open and you missed him. I know. I ain't blind. He won't get away this time. Ah, you couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with a shovel. Your 22 must have a bent barrel. <laughs> All right, wise guys. He's on that big oak branch over there. You got him. Sure, what do you think? Let's see any of you guys do better. Okay, okay, that, that was a good shot. Boy, this is better than shooting at paper targets or tin cans, ain't it, huh? Sure, Harry, sure. What's eating you, Jack? You act jumpy. Well, I am. We've been in one place too long. Let, let's get moving and go back to town. Ranger's liable to come along and catch us. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's go home, guys. Well, Grizzly Howard... Uh... How's bear hunting these days? Uh, them there bars are getting scarce over the month, Stumpy. Figure they'll be plum gone by the time I quit hunting them. Ah, uh, wouldn't that be, Quiz? Oh, not wrong, Gray Wolf. There ain't no young still like Stumpy here. <laughs> them mountains getting harder to climb every year now. Oh, go on, Grizz. You got a lot of tread left in your tires. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. But, uh... That ain't what it come for. Um, I ain't much in the mood for join after seeing what I just seen. No, huh? sir. What'd you see, Gris? Birds. Dozens of birds all over the forest around Naughty Pine. <laughs> oh, what's so unusual about that? Why, there's thousands of birds in the country around here. Yeah, I know that. Uh, but these birds are special kind. Um, they ain't flying. Huh? Why not? Because they're dead, that's why. What killed them, Grizz? I don't know exactly who, but uh, they've been shot with 22 rifle balls. Oh, is that so? Yep. So as I'm knee-high to a grizzly bar. Why, the forest around Naughty Pine looks like a butcher house. That's what it does, yep. Any idea who done it? Hmm. If I did, it wouldn't be sitting here, would I? Now, don't go taking things in your own hands. Did you see any trail sign? Nope. It was kind of dark out there, and my eyes ain't so good no more, except in the bright of day. Uh, somebody have big-time shooting birds. Not bad. Uh, you said it, Grey Wolf. It's bad for the birds, and it's going to be even worse for the ones responsible when we catch them. Grizz, we'll go out first thing in the morning and have a look. Yep, that's what I come for, to put a stop to it. <laughs> Look who's here. Hey. Hello, Skinny. Skinny. Uh, howdy, Wes. What are you fellas doing? We're shooting. Oh, what'd you stomp on my foot for, Wes? Because you talk too much. Skinny stands in pretty solid with Bill Jefferson. Yeah, he's in solid with a ranger, boss, and that ain't good for us. Oh, I ain't neither what you said. I don't know about that, Skinny. You think we look like a bunch of squares? Oh, I don't think no such thing. 
When are you going to let me join your club? We told you before, Mountain Boy. This is an exclusive club. Ain't that right, gang? Yeah, yeah right. sure is. Yeah. Go on, shove off, Skinny. We ain't never going to let you join our club. Uh, but why? For sure. I don't do nothing to make you guys mad at me, do I? Well, no, not exactly yet. But we don't like the looks of you, that's all. Now beat it. Well, I guess I don't want nothing to do with fellas that don't want nothing to do with me. Come on, fellas. We got to get our target practice in for today. Hey, how many of you guys shot at the same birds? Oh, oh, well, it ain't right, man. How can we tell which one of us hit it? Yeah. Harry's right. One guy to a bird from now on. Come on, get with it, you guys. No, oh, sure, we gotta pay attention to what we're doing. Let's go over over the ridge there and shoot on the other side. That's a lot of hiking, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what? Your leg ain't broke. Besides, I I don't exactly trust Skinny. If that guy rats on us, I'll break his neck. No, oh, what you talking about? He ain't no squealer. He just wants to join the club. <laughs> wasn't joking, was it? <laughs> that old mountain goat very seldom does, sonny. Ah, uh, this very bad. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. A hundred and one dead birds. Beautiful and useful birds deliberately murdered. What are you going to do, Bill? Do? We're going to catch the kids that did this. That's what we're going to do. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, pal. Shouldn't have spoken so harshly to you. You haven't done anything wrong. I I knew you didn't mean it for me. Oh, thanks, pal. But a sight like this makes my blood boil. Let's get back to town and figure out a way to set a trap for the rascals that did this. It's a whole gang of boys that shot the birds? Yeah. They left all kinds of trail signs. Some of them were wearing sneakers with a certain design sole on them, too. Ah, uh, that plane is nose on face. The boy's not careful at all about leaving shoe prints. Well, it ought to be easy to spot the boys wearing them kind of sneakers. Hey, Skinny! Hey, what are you trying to do? Scare me to death? See, Skinny's got on them kind of sneakers. Yeah. So I noticed. Hello, Henry. Hi, Mr. Bill. Stumpy, Gray Wolf. Uh, hello, Skinny. Uh, what brings you to town? Oh, I don't know. Just moseying around, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh, where'd you buy the sneakers? Mm -hmm. They look pretty sharp. Oh, yep. <laughs> got them over at the department store. Had a big sale, and oh, a lot of the fellas got them. Oh, I see. Um, how many uh, bought them? You have any idea? Well, no... But a lot of them did. Uh, we just been out in the forest around Naughty Pine, and uh, we saw a lot of dead birds. Uh, they've been shot with a twenty-two. Yep, I seen them too, Mister Jenkins. Well, you know, who did it? Yep, you do. Who? Well, now you know I can't tell that, Henry. I won't lie that I don't know who did it, but I ain't gonna squeal on them. No how. They wouldn't let me join up in their club if and I did. Oh, uh, what club is that, Skinny? Huh? Oh, just a club, Mr. Bill. You know, a passel of boys. Oh, all right, Skinny. Uh, we won't question you any further. Uh, just one thing. Yes, sir? Did you shoot any of those birds? No, sir. Nope. Pa taught me better than that, Mr. Bill. Birds eat bad bugs and insects that eat trees and stuff. Ain't no reason to kill them. All right, Skinny, I believe you. Uh, why do you want to join a boys club that goes around killing birds? Oh, now, first of all, I ain't said that they was the boys. But if they was, I'd join them to learn them something better. That's what. 
Skinny, plenty, close mouth. He's always been that way. I don't know if it's good or bad when something terribly wrong's been done, like killing all those birds. Well, it's a matter of opinion, pal. He probably feels we should find the culprits ourselves. I suppose so. What are we going to do about catching them, by the way? Well, I don't know yet. I'll think of something before too long. Um, we better not wait too long or more birds get shot. Yeah, it's a truth there, young feller. Uh, Bill... You'd better turn over a few of them brain cells of yours and come up with an idea, Prato. Yeah, time's a wasting. Why, that gang of boys might be out in the forest now, shooting birds for all we know. All right, let's get back to the office. I'll show you an idea I have, but I need a map to do it. Now, we could patrol the forest where we found the dead birds, and we might catch them, and then again we might not. More than likely, they might see one of us, and then we wouldn't catch them at all. We've got to catch them red-handed. That's a big order. How do you plan to do it? Well, the way I see it, there are about four ways the gang might leave town and not arouse much notice as they pass by well, they could cut through here and pass Larkin's barn and go out. Mm -hmm. There's a trail there, too. Right. And uh, that's the one I think they'll use. Also, they might go out here, across the tracks and uh, behind the cattle pens. Or uh, over here, where the forest comes close to this row of homes. Only they might uh, attract attention here. Too much attention going this way. Or they could uh, take this dry gulch out past the school. In any event, we've got to cover all four of these exits. Well, sounds good to me. Uh, one thing for sure, they ain't going to walk out of town in broad daylight with a sign telling everyone they're going to shoot birds. Not right. We set up watch with radio, Bill. Yes, uh, we'll team up, Grey Wolf. Uh, you and Stumpy and Henry and I. When do we start? First thing in the morning. There's Larkin's barn. Now remember, fellas, don't try to stop them on their way out if they pass here. We've got to catch them in the act or it's no good. Right. You sure the radio works? Yep. I tried it out this morning at home. Okay. I'll be over at the dry gulch. It goes past the school. Call me if you spot him. Okay. Sonny, uh, the cattle pens. Ah, good thing they're not cattle in pens. It'd be easier to spot and hear a gang of boys. Yep, sure is. And I won't go daffy here and moo moo for the next 10 or 12 hours. Now, you not forget radio. Ah, don't worry. I can't yell as far away as you'll be. I'll see you later, Grey Wolf. Right, Stumpy. If you get lonesome, start whistling. Okay, you fellas on the lonesome patrol. I'm all set here at the school. Report in. This is Larkin's Barn Henry speaking. I'm having a swell time watching the pigeons and an old cat trying to catch a mouse. 
why I hope there aren't any ghosts out here. <laughs> okay, pal. Glad to hear you're alive and kicking. Uh, me too. I not hear a thing out here except few rattlesnakes cough once in a while. Yeah, why don't you give them some cough medicine, Gray Wolf? Of course, I ain't never been privileged to hear a snake cough. You can if you get close enough and listen real hard. <laughs> I ain't looking at no snake's tonsils. <laughs> How do you know he's got some? Hey, will you guys cut out the chin music? You're supposed to be listening and watching. Are you sure? And how? Hey, there's Jack Longfield and Wes McAllister. Harry Nevin and about, about ten others. And they're all carrying 22s and heading for the forest. Well, don't make a move until they've gone by and I get there. Okay. Grey Wolf, pick up the old timer and meet me at Larkin's barn. Was Skinny with him? No. I've been trying to figure out how he fits into the picture. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, we be quiet. Get close to boys now. Trail plenty fresh. Okay, Grey Wolf. Hey, there's Skinny standing by the trail. What are you doing out here, Skinny? Well, I figured maybe I could stop the boys from shooting the birds. You better come along with us. Everybody be quiet now. Good shot, Harry. Right in the button. Watch me get this one. Put that gun down. The cops run for it. Let's round them up, fellas. All right, all right. Quiet down. Quiet down. I know how you caught us. Skinny turned stooly. Yeah, that's right. I did not. That'll be enough. You don't scare me none, cop. Yeah, and they got a stool pigeon with them, too. Wait till we get you, Skinny. You'll be sorry you ran it on us, mountain boy. I said to be quiet. Oh, what a bunch of squares. You can't shut us up. Try it and see. Okay, wise guy, you asked for it. Take your hands off me. Yeah, leave him alone, cop. Quiet or you get same. Hey, why the handcuffs? I'm going to lock your hands together over this tree branch. See if that doesn't take some of the sap out of you. That's torture. You won't get away with it. My feet won't touch the ground. Oh, yes, they will. All right, get them up there. Okay, okay, Mr. Jefferson. If you win, I'll behave. Well, that's more like it. You fellas should know better than try to get smart with me. I haven't any use for a wise guy. You in, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, we was just testing you out. Would you really have done that to Wes? That's for you to decide. Good. Now, all of you boys gather around here so I can talk to you. Aren't you going to take us in? That depends on you fellas. What you need is someone to teach you how to use your time constructively. And since you all seem to be keenly interested in shooting rifles, we're going to form a rifle club, and you will learn to shoot expertly and safely. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, no. Do we have to join the rifle club? I'm afraid you do, young fella. Why, it's a free country. Yeah. That's right. Good night. But you fellas have broken the law of this free country. Do I make myself clear? 
Yes, sir. <laughs> Quite clear. Now, we're going to meet at my office after school tomorrow. And no one will be absent. Understand? Yes. No, we understand. Now, before you go home, we'll inspect your rifles to make sure they're not loaded. And you'll take the rifle bolts out and carry them in your pockets. There won't be any gun accidents that way. Cease fire on the line. Unload your rifles. Remove the bolts. Step back. The last group will fire now. Uh, you not shoot, Skinny. No, I, I ain't part of the club. Who says you're not, Skinny? We do, Bill. We don't want Skinny in the club. That's right. He's an oddball, and, well, we don't want him. Well, I don't want to be no member, neither. What's the real reason why you don't want Skinny in the club? Well, you might just as well tell, Bill. Because he'll get it out of you sooner or later anyhow. He never gives up, you know. Well, we think he's the one that tipped you off so as we got caught. Yeah, and he did, too. You know that for a fact, Wes? Sure. Jack? How about you, Jack? I ain't saying. Both of you are guessing, aren't you? Well? You're right. We don't know for sure. Well, I do. I tried to pump Skinny, and he wouldn't be pumped. My men and I trapped you ourselves. So he didn't squeal. We still don't want him. Why not? Harry, what's the real reason? All right, I'll tell you the real reason. Skinny's a mountain boy, and he's an outsider. That's the real reason. Skinny comes from a different class of people. But let me tell you this. He's a sportsman, and he plays fair. Now, there are some other things you fellas are going to learn besides shooting rifles. The first thing is Christian love. You haven't even given Skinny a chance to prove himself. You're acting selfish, not even democratic. I know some of you, and perhaps all of you, have gone to Sunday school and church. Is this what you learned there? Well? Uh, we were taught to be kind to everybody. Skinny, step up to the firing line with the next group and shoot. Uh, next time, Mr. Bill, I, I don't hanker after these new kind of rifles. All right, son. That's your wish. After we finish shooting, we're going out in the forest and clean up all the dead birds. All except you, Skinny. Oh, I'll help clean up them dead birds. It won't take long with a lot of hands. Boy, they're sure off working like beavers. Boy, they got the birds all picked up. Almost every last one of them. I not find any left. Uh, me neither, Sonny. Gather around, boys. I've got an announcement to make. Thank you for the fine job you've done. And uh, I'm not going to say any more about the birds. I won't rub it in like sandpaper. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> shoot plenty good at close contest. You said it, Sonny. Look at Harry up his score ever since we corrected his prone position. Wes and Jack are tied for first place so far. They've all been showing good sportsmanship, too. Yeah, they sure are. Especially after you backed him in a corner about Skinny. Uh, speaking of Skinny, uh, I haven't seen him here at practice. I not see him either. I wonder why. We're ready for the last group, Bill. Okay, pal. Uh, have you seen Skinny? 
No. I thought he'd be here to shoot in the contest. There he comes now. And look what he's carrying. <laughs> All right, that'll be enough of that, fellas. Welcome to the shoot, Daniel Boone. Danny, Danny, We're shooting paper targets, not Indians. Hey, hey, we'll have to hold him up so the cannon don't bowl him over. Oh, boy. Are you ready to shoot, Skinny? Yes, sir. That's what I come for. All right. Uh, step up to the line. Wes, Jack, you fellas are tied. You'll have to shoot another series to break the tie. Skinny, you shoot first. <laughs> All right, Skinny. Fire when ready. Bullseye! Hey, boy, did you see that? Oh, yeah. hey, you got it. Bullseye. You got three oh, shots at each target, Skinny. You missed it! Bullseye! What? Huh. Take what the mean? glasses and see for okay. yourself. Yeah. Oh. Jumping bullfrogs. He put the second shot almost through the hole the first one made. Wow. You can see oh. where the bullet made the hole lopsided. Oh. Well, Skinny, you win the shoot hands down. Perfect score. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bill. Can I ask what the prize is? Sure. A new rifle and a new Bible. Oh, that's mighty fine. Paul was always going to buy me a new Bible and a new gun. Well, he never had the money for it. Skinny, why did you show up for practice? Oh, well, I, I was afraid the boys might laugh at my old gun. Me being an outsider and all. Skinny, you can shoot that old gun all you want. You're not an outsider anymore. That's, That's right. right. He's He's out out of the the Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! again. Our program today gives me, Ranger Bill, just a little time to talk to you moms and dads about our adventure stories and why we're on the air. We all know that every time a boy or girl listens to one of our programs, he gets some impression of the Christian life and the character of the people involved. So we must be constantly alert to guard the image that's presented, to make it realistic and truthful neither setting up false ivory tower heroes for fellas and gals to aspire to, or creating the impression that Christianity is an impossible goal in this day and age. We also try to present Christians as people, something which they are. The faults of a Christian don't have to be glossed over. He's human too. So we try to present to you, the listener, a story that from your point of view is a factual photograph of a way of life, namely the Christian way, and showing individuals living, seeing, understanding this way of life, or maybe missing it completely. Let's all be honest before God so that truth can survive, and our young people will turn out to be the good citizens and real Christians that we want them to be.